Hello everyone, this is Siddhartan. This is the third video in our Python basics module in our hands-on machine learning course. Okay, so in this video, we are going to discuss about the basic Python data types. So there are five basic data types in Python. They are integers, floating points, complex numbers, boolean and string. Okay, so apart from this, there are also other data types such as list, uh, sets, dictionary, etc. So we will be discussing about those complex data types in the next video. Okay, so the agenda of this video is these five basic data types. So integers are nothing but the, you know, the integer values, whereas the floating points are the decimal numbers and uh, complex numbers like we know the complex number, right? So which has one a real part and one imaginary part and boolean so boolean uh, basically has two values one is true and the another one is false okay so this true or false value is called as boolean data types and then we have the fifth data type which is string so string basically means words or words or sentences okay so let's see how we can use these different data types in python and some of the functions or the operations we can do on these data types okay so uh I will be doing this coding in Google Collaboratory. So if you are not sure about Google Collaboratory, you can watch the video in my channel where I have explained how you can use Google Collaboratory. I will just put it in the cards in this video. Okay. So first of all, let's create integers. Okay. Integers. So this is called, called as comment. So if you want to write, you know, some comment about your code, you can proceed it with this hash. So if you proceed it with it, it, the Python interpreter interprets that this is a comment and not the original script. Okay. So and also you can make descriptions about your code by typing it in between triple quotes. Okay. So I'm just putting three quotes. So you can put three single quotes or three double quotes. Okay. So you can write some description about your code. For example, let me write here that this video is about the Python data types. Okay. So you should end it with the same double quotes. Okay. So this is how you can write some strings or, uh, you know, description about a Python script. Okay, so if you start in uh, double quotes, it should end in double quotes, and if you start in single quotes, it should it should end in single quote. Okay, so and it is nothing but comments. So for writing comments, you should include it with hash. Okay, now let's see how we can uh, get integers in Python. Let's say that we have a variable called as a, and this variable a has the value eight. Okay, so in C programming and other some of the programming languages we need to mention what is this data type say for example in C programming so we will just mention that this A is an integer by, by writing int A right but in Python we don't need to mention the type of the data okay so the Python automatically interprets the data type so we don't need to do that okay so as we know that 8 is a positive integer right so A is equal to 8 and let me print A okay so I'm going to print A and type a so let's say that you want to find what is the data type so what is the type of the data okay so in that case you can use this keyword type and uh, you can inside the parenthesis you can include that variable which you want to find so when you run this this will give the type of the data okay so in this case the data type is integer right so it will print uh, the data type is uh, integer okay so we want to print this a so it will print 8 and it should print the data type as int okay so let's run and see this so i'll press shift plus enter to run this okay so we have printed a which is 8 and we have found the type of the data which is 8 is integer so this is how you can assign an integer value to a variable and you can print the integer value and what is the type of that value okay so these are examples of integers let's now discuss about floating points so floating points are nothing but the decimal values okay floating point let me create another variable as b so b is equal to let's say 2.3 so we know that 2.3 is a decimal value okay so let's then print b and let me also get the data type of b okay so let me run this so as you can see here we have printed the value which is 2.3 and we have found the data type as float okay so this is how you can find uh, what is that specific data type is okay 
so we have seen that the third data type is complex numbers right so for imaginary part in complex number you need to include j and not i so complex numbers so let me create another variable as c and c is equal to let's say 1 plus 3j here 1 is the real part and 3j is the imaginary part right so let's print this complex number let's print c and type of c so it should print complex okay as you can see here we got the complex number and uh, we have printed the type of the data which is complex right so the main thing to note here is like we do in c programming we don't need to mention the data type in the case of python so python automatically interprets the data type okay now let's see how we can convert one data type to another so we have uh, integer strings and complex right so we can convert this one data type into another okay for example we can convert an, an integer into a floating point and the floating point into an integer okay so let's see how we can do that so i'll put a text here conversion of one data type to another okay so we are going to convert integer to float okay so the keyword for integers is int and for floating point it's float okay so let me create a variable as x and let's say that x is equal to 10 and let me again print this x and also print the type of the data so type of x okay so we got the value of x as 10 and the type of the data as integer so now we need to convert this 10 which is an integer to a floating point okay so how we can do that let's say that we take another var variable y and you just need to mention the data type to which you want to change for example in this case we want to change this value this integer value to float right so we need to mention that here float and in the parenthesis just include this variable so i want to convert this x into a floating point so i'll mention it here so this value 10 will be converted into a decimal value and that value will be stored in the variable y okay so now i'll print y and also the data type of y right y. okay as you can see here now the 10 is converted into 10.0 which is a decimal value so and the type of the data is float so this is how you can convert the integer value to floating point value okay now let's see the yc versa which is float to an integer so float to int so let me again create a variable x let's give a value 5.88 so we know that 5.88 is a decimal point value which means a floating point value so x is equal to 5.88 so let me print x and also the type of x okay so we got that floating point value and the data type of that float now let's convert it into integer so it's the same procedure so only we need to change this float to integer so let me create a variable y and y is equal to int of x so this floating point value 5.88 will be converted into an integer value and it will be stored to this variable y okay so print y and type of y okay as you can see here the floating point value which is 5.88 is converted to integer value 5 and the important point to note here is we are not rounding the values so we are just removing the decimal point which is 0.88 here okay so the value won't be rounded to 6 but this decimal value will be removed and we will get only the integer value okay so that is the most significant point significant point here okay so as of now we have discussed about the first three data types integer floating point and complex number and we have seen how we can convert integer to float and float to integer now let's discuss about boolean data type okay
boolean data type so basically boolean data type has two values one is true and the next one is false okay let's say that let's take the variable a and a is equal to true so the important thing here is we should not enclose this in quotes as we do for strings only the strings should be enclosed in the uh, in quotes but here the value true is not a string but it is a boolean data type so we won't include it in quotes okay so let's say that a is equal to true and let's print a and also the type of a so this should mention that the data type is boolean so as you can see here we have printed the boolean data type as true and uh, we got the data type as bool so it is the short form for boolean data type okay so similarly you can print the other boolean value which is false so let's say b is equal to false print b type of b so again this will be boolean value okay so these boolean values are very useful in uh, if statements and uh, if else condition and for loops and while loops so in those cases we will be using these uh, boolean data types so it is very much useful for checking the conditions okay so let's consider an example where we can use boolean so i'll create the variable as condition okay so let's create a variable called as condition and let's say that 8 is less than 5 okay so we need to check whether this condition is correct or not so we know that this condition is not true because 8 is greater than 5 so this will give the boolean value which is false to this variable called as condition okay now let's try to print this so print condition and also check the data type of condition okay so it won't this uh, less than symbol won't find the difference between the two numbers but it will check the condition whether it is true or not and that will be stored in the in this variable okay so let us run this so as you can see here we got the condition as false and we have printed the data type so similarly you can change this to greater than so this should give output as true okay so this is where you can use boolean data type so these conditions are very much useful in the if statements and the loops okay so this is about the boolean data types so the last data type is string okay so string is one of the most important data types in python so let's discuss about it and some of the operations we can do in string okay string so strings are nothing but words and sentences okay so we need to enclose the strings in double quotes or single quotes so we should always do that so whenever we are mentioning a string in the python script we should enclose in quotes okay so let us print hello world in python so print the parenthesis you should mention hello world okay so let me run this okay so this is how you can print strings so you cannot write this string without the quotes so this will throw an error so as you can see here this is an invalid syntax so always the strings should be enclosed in quotes so you can use either double quotes or even single quotes but if you use the single quotes the ending quote should also be single you cannot use the single quote while beginning the string and double quotes while ending the string so the quotes should be same okay so that is one thing to note and there are a lot of operations we can do in string so as we have did before we have checked the data type right so similarly we can check the data type here let's create the string as my string so i am naming the variable as my string and i am giving the value as so value of the string as let's say hello okay now let me print this my string and type of my string so you can see here that i haven't enclosed this variable in quotes okay so we should not 
enclose our variable in quotes we should only enclose the strings in the quotes so we cannot do this so we need to remove this quotes okay so only the string value should be enclosed in quotes here we are giving this string value to a variable so that variable should not be enclosed in quotes so if we enclose it in quotes the python interpreter will think that it is a string okay so let's run this so as you can see here we have printed this my string and we have found the data type which is string so string is represented as str okay so there are some some more things we can do with strings let's say that uh, okay so let's do this so print hello so this basically prints the word allow five times okay so you can use this syntax for it so you should mention this multiplication symbol and five so let me run this as you can see here it has printed this allow five times continuously so you can do this by mentioning the number of times you want to you know uh, you know print this word and mention this multiplication sign so this is basically like the exponential sign okay now let's do another thing I create my string as let's say programming okay so you need to note one thing here so there is this indexing in python and indexing always starts from zero in python indexing starts from zero in python okay so we won't count the values from one so we will count from zero